Hey family, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. This video is going to be kind of short, and but it's dedicated to family members of Holler. Um, and the drama that they are going through right now which is something that families do. I have a friend that wrote a poem called What Death Brings, and I think that is one of the most heartfelt uh, poems that spoke to the heart of us individually. And um, what it talked about is exactly what that family is experiencing right now. Um, there's a lot of people, a lot of haters that are now beginning to attack. The sharks are circling the waters. i uh, wanting to know, um, you know, why you have a GoFundMe. And, um, you know, she should have made enough money to pay for the funeral. All in them people's pockets. First of all, what I get... Out of it, the energy that it, it gets me with all the people that's writing them is jealousy. They're not that concerned about holler um, and how much joy that she brought to people. Now, this is the, this is the dif dysfunction of black people. Now, they all want to know what happened to the money. Now, they want to know, uh, um, you know, just, you know. How come you got a GoFundMe page and what did y'all do with the money? Which I think, first of all, is none of your damn business. Second of all, it is true that you can outlive your insurance policy. I had to get my mother's insurance redone because of that reason alone. Because her insurance had, she had, had gone over the time that she was alive. Um, and so fortunately for us, it was something that we caught. And so now we have insurance that will take her to the final stage. But that's a very um, um, common phenomenon in especially term life insurance where they put the age limit on you and you didn't pay money all into it. And some of it is 76, some of it is 80. So now you didn't paid all this money into it and you get 80 years old. They don't honor it. That is the truth. That happens all the time. Unfortunately, they probably didn't know that. I mean, and you couldn't expect them to know that unless they the kind of uh, people that, you know, go up and down their paperwork. You know, it's almost like you need an assistant to go up and down your life as you begin to get older and accumulate more and more things to make sure certain things are up to date. Certain things are, um, you know, policies are, are protected. Now, from what I'm hearing, and if you all notice, those are all Holler's grandchildren that are helping. Not her children. And I can understand that. I can understand uh, the daughter, the grandchildren saying, wait a minute. Y'all got venom for us because we created a way to share our grandmama. Yeah, we created some income along the way. And that's fine and perfect. They should have did that. There's no problem with that. And so what if they got an extra few dollars? I mean, what? You know what? Like I said, the things we worry about collectively as a, as black people are just stupid. And I just have to say it. It's just stupid. Because what's going on with them right now? They should not even have to hear this kind of stress. And y'all worried about what they did with the money. And half of y'all don't. Do you know, like the girl said, you, you know it's taxes on that money, right? You know it ain't just free money. You know it's a 1099, and no, no matter how much you think a, a creator is getting, that the Uncle Sam is still standing in line, he wants his cut, and his cut is bigger than yours. What the hell are y'all talking about? I, jealousy is crueler than the grave. 
And it just shows how much addicted to pain and drama that we are. Because now that Mahala is gone, instead of us focusing on all the laughter. And uh, some people couldn't stomach her. Like I told you, I had a friend who pretty much blocked me because of, um, I sent her a, a video of Holler. And I got angry because I felt that she could at least told me, look, I don't like that. She told me she didn't like her. But I didn't know it would be that far as that she would block me and not speak to me because, or, or well, I ain't going to say not speak to me. I didn't speak to her because I felt that you were my friend. You couldn't say, listen, I'm really uncomfortable with that old lady. Don't send her to me no more. And I'm good. I would have honored her wishes. But to just block me, I was very insulted. And so, and that was because of Holla. So there was a lot of people that didn't like her spirit. didn't like her energy. But there was a lot of people at 97 that she brought a lot of joy to. And I want to acknowledge that. I overlooked her cussing. I listened to the wisdom that came out of her. And I'm glad that Regina Bell uh, sent her a shout out. I'm glad Regina Bell let her know that she watches her. And that no matter how um, uh, uh, wild that she may be. Uh, the fact that she was still living her life, singing the songs in her right mind, uh, giving advice. And how dare y'all say that like the people was forcing her to do that. She was a born comedian. She was a born comedian. Yeah, she cussed. I cussed too sometimes. I got a good side and a bad side. Like the rest of y'all hypocrites. We all got it. A good side and the bad side. Okay? So don't come at us or them with that bull craziness. It's disingenuous. It's, hip, it's hypocritical. And it's not loving at all. Let that lady rest. Let that family have some peace. And I was going to say this. And this is just my, my opinion. Instead of going through all that. Anybody that didn't have insurance and I got to deal with it, they got they're going to be cremated. Actually, some of us want to be cremated anyway. But at the end of the day, everybody don't want to stand up there and, and let people walk over to look at their dead corpse and then say stuff like, "Ooh, they sure look different, didn't they? Ooh, they sure lost a lot of weight or they didn't look nothing like themselves. Don't nobody want to go through that no more. I, w I would rather remember the person in their spirit and who their spirit was. And that's what I ask. But y'all should back up off of them. Because what y'all doing now is just showing all our dysfunction. And what we do when somebody die. The way you attacked and holler and her nieces. I mean her grandchildren. She wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like it not one damn bit. So if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. Send this to them. And I don't know if they're a subscriber, but send it to them. Send them some words of encouragement. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.